The fifth step is checking your recap. To get to the recap screen, you're going to come to the top and click on the check mark icon. Now, there are several things to look at on the recap screen. One of the things you're going to look at are your markups. You can change a markup by simply double clicking on it, double click again, change it to whatever you want to change it to, click save and save again, and you have just changed the markup in this job only. You have not changed the default markup in the database. We can change the default markup in the database, but that's a different procedure. We'll show you how to do that in another video. Another thing you're going to look at on the recap screen is your overall selling price. We have, we have two subdivisions here. We have the drywall subdivision and the acoustical subdivision, each with its own selling price. If we click bottom end here, it will add both the drywall subdivision and the acoustical subdivision and give us the overall selling price here. To get back to the main recap, we'll click the check mark icon again. One thing to be on the lookout for are red exclamation points. We have a red exclamation point here. If we hover over it, it says there are three items with errors. If we click the red exclamation point, it will take us right to the item or items with errors. This item wants a price. I'll put in a price and hit enter. And now that I've entered a price, the item has gone away because it no longer has an error. When we go back to the recap screen, we see that the red exclamation point has gone away. Make sure you check each tax class for red exclamation points. Also on the recap screen, you can export to Excel. You give it a name, put it on your system somewhere, and click Save and yes, and you have an Excel document of the recap screen. That's it for step number five of the six steps. Thank you for watching.